This week for Literary Devices, we're learning about metrical feet, and we're going to learn this week about IMs, trochees, dactyls, anapas, and spondees. And we're going to learn about it by jumping in the car on this beautiful, sunny Sunday afternoon and driving all around Elmira, New York, and we're going to find examples of IMs, trochees, dactyls, anapas, and spondees all over the city. But first, let's review what an iamb is. It's a foot with an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. Okay, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, stressed. Here are some examples from town. There's the Shemung Canal Trust Company building. Shemung is an iamb. It's unstressed, stressed, right? Shemung, Shemung, iamb. Also, canal is an I am. Canal, canal. It's unstressed, stressed. King cone is an I am. Those two words. King is unstressed, and then cone is stressed. King cone. State law, that's also an I am. State is unstressed, law is stressed. State law. Check out what a trochee is. It's a stressed syllable followed by an unstressed syllable. So this is the opposite or the inverse of an I am. Stress syllable, unstressed syllable. Stress syllable, unstressed syllable. Broadway. That word is a trochee. Broadway. Broadway. Stressed, unstressed. Mobile is a trochee. Mobile. Mobile. Stressed, unstressed. Trochee. Texas Roadhouse. We've got two trochees right there. Texas. Texas is a trochee. And then Roadhouse. Roadhouse is also a trochee. So double trochees. Walmart is a trochee. Wall Mart. Sweet Frog is a trochee. All D is a trochee. Target. Trochee. There's a street sign for you. Walnut. Walnut. Stressed, unstressed. There's the medical school, Lee Com. Lee Com. Stressed, unstressed. Clinton, trochee. Maple, maple, trochee. Southport, South. Here's another double trochee for you. Parley, Coburn. Parley, Coburn. Franklin, Franklin. Erie, Erie. Here's another double trochee. Duncan, Donut. Duncan, dough nuts. And also, under that is also a trochee, drive through. Drive through. So we've got three trochees actually on that sign. Thrilling. Beecher is a trochee. Beecher. Wegmans. Wegmans. That's a trochee. Divin, divin, trochee. Subway is a trochee. Subway. Handy, handy, trochee. Hoffman, trochee. Double trochees right here. Er. Davis, right? 
Ernie Davis. Eldridge is a trokey. Larchmont, trokey. Now, let's look at dactyls. What is a dactyl? Well, it's a word with a, a stress syllable at the beginning and then two unstressed syllables. Okay, stress syllable followed by two unstressed syllables. Let's find some dactyls all around town. Lots of dactyls. Tanglewood. You hear that? The first syllable is stressed. Tang and then go wood. Tanglewood. Tanglewood. That's a dactyl. Washington. We've got three syllables there. First syllable stressed. Wa shing -ton. Wa shing -ton. Dactyl. Catherine. Catherine. Dactyl. Riverside. Riverside. Dactyl. Yamaha. Yamaha. Dactyl. The word, not tops, but the word next to it, bakery. That's a dactyl. Bakery. Family. That word's a dactyl, and then dollar is a trochee, right? So we've got a dactyl and then a trochee. Family. Dollar. Look at the word library. That's the dactyl. Library. Library. Look at not J Street, but Sullivan. Sullivan is your dactyl. Sullivan. Sullivan. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it's so small, but it's supposed to be Madison. Madison. Dactyl. Dama rest. Dama rest. Dactyl. Underwood. Underwood. Dactyl. Lexington. Lexington. Morning side. Morning side. Country club. Those two words together make a dactyl. Country club. Just by itself, country is a trochee, isn't it? Country. But when you've got country club, it's a dactyl. Country club. Evergreen. Evergreen. Dactyl. Dollar general. General is a dactyl. Dollar is a trochee, right? Dollar, trochee, dactyl, general. Now let's look for some anapests. Anapests are, are not very common in the English language. So whenever you see an anapest, it's a reason for you to get very excited. Here's an, what the, an anapest is. It's an unstressed syllable, another unstressed syllable, and then a stressed syllable, okay? So it's unstressed, unstressed, stressed, unstressed, unstressed, stressed. That's an anapest. Let's find some anapests. TJ Maxx, do you hear how that's an anapest? It's two unstressed syllables, TJ, and then the stressed syllable. Max, TJ Max, TJ Max, Anapest. Notre Dame, that's an Anapest too. Notre Dame, two unstressed syllables, then a stressed. Notre Dame. On the way, that is an Anapest, those three words together. On the way. Chevrolet. Chevrolet is an anapest. 
Now, what's a spondee? This is our, our, the last thing we need to find in Elmira today. Um, it's a stress syllable and then another stress syllable. It's two stress syllables right in a row. That's a spondee. And we're going to find quite a few of these. Mark Twain. Do you hear how that's a spondee? We don't say Mark Twain. That'd be a trochee. And we don't say Mark Twain. That would be an I am. When we say that name in English, we give stress to both the syllables, two syllables in a row. So it's Mark Twain. That's a spondee. West Hill. Don't look at Walnut. That's that's a trochee. West Hill. Those two syllables are equally stressed. Spondee. Park Place. We don't say Park Place. And we don't say Park Place. We say Park Place. Two equally stressed syllables. Spondee. Um, look at the little blue and white sign. Drug-free school zone. There we have two spondees on one sign. That's amazing. Drug-free. That's a spondee. And then school zone is also a spondee. Drug-free school zone. We've got double spondees. Wow. Dunfield. Okay, we don't say Dunfield. That'd be a trochee. And we don't say Dunfield. That's an I am. It's Dunfield. Two equally stressed syllables. That's a spondee. Dry run road. Dry and run together are a spondee. This is actually a spondee and a half because all three words, dry run road, they all have a stressed syllable. Mount Zor, that's a spondee. And then finally, Park Church, that's also a spondee. Two equally stressed syllables right in a row. So let's review quickly. What is an IM? It's an unstressed syllable followed by a stressed syllable. A trochee is a stressed syllable and then an unstressed syllable. Stress, unstressed, that's your trochee. A dactyl is a stressed syllable and then two unstressed syllables. Stressed, unstressed, unstressed. Stressed, unstressed, unstressed. What's an anapast? It's an unstressed syllable, unstressed syllable, stressed syllable. So the anapest is the opposite or the inverse of the dactyl. What's a spondy? It's two stressed syllables right in a row, like Mark Twain, Dunn Field, Grove Park, Park Place. Thanks for watching.